Hi, thanks for joining us. This is uh, Quibids Report, and this video is in response to a video we posted a few weeks ago called uh, How to Pre Predict the Closing Price of a Quibids Auction Using the Straddle Method. Um, so, we'll just kind of jump in here real quick. I'm going to take a look at this chart here and explain how the straddle method works and the concepts behind it. So, uh, what Quibids Report did is we've uh, uh, observed over 12,000 closed auctions. Uh, tw of 25 bid voucher auctions and uh, we sort of modeled that data into this chart here and as you sort of progress along the chart here the price would go up down here um, and uh, this line represents this curve uh, represents the number of auctions that close or the frequency of um, auctions that close so right in the dead center your average that represents about 50 percent of the auctions have closed by this point so all of this data here is it represents 50% of the chart. Uh, once you move out one level from here uh, to the level one upper limit, uh, as we refer to it in the uh, previous video, uh, you are now uh, saying that 84.4% of all the auctions have closed by this point. That's at 89 cents. Now the level two upper limit is um, is a dollar 14. That's uh, it's just 25 29 cents. Higher, you just keep adding 29 cents to it, so that gives you the level two upper limit, and that says that 97.7 percent of all auctions that we have observed up until this point have closed by $1.14. So that's like saying only 2.3 percent of the auctions close here. And as you guys can tell, this is a this area here is rep uh, represents 2.1 percent, uh, and this represents about. 0.2% of the auctions will actually make it past this point here. So we're not really concerned with this area here. Uh, it's very infrequent, uh, but this does, however, show up on Quibids a lot. Uh, you'll watch a 25 bid voucher auction get into this area here. And uh, so what we did is sort of took this 29 cent spread. We split the spread, um, which gives us about 15 cents. We add that onto the 89 cents, and that gives us our split there. And that's a dollar four. So that gives us our entry point. And that's how we want to enter into this auction. And the concept of the straddle method, method is to sort of straddle in between this upper, uh, this level one upper limit and straddle over the upper two level limit. So um, as a, you don't want to bid more than 20 bids. And that's, that, that goes with any 15 bids uh, voucher. Uh, the reason being, you would think, um, you know, why not bid 25 bids? Because I'm going to get 25 bids back. Well, in reality, you have to pay a $2 fee on those 25 bids, so you're actually paying about $17, and you're paying uh, on average, uh, once you average that out per bid, you're paying over 60 cents per bid. And as you know, you can buy bids straight from Quee Bids for only 60 cents per bid. So you're actually better off spending that money um, uh, towards Quee Bids. So you don't want to bid more than 20 bids, um, and the and the five bids uh, that you would, you know, most people would think, oh, I could keep, keep bidding. Those five bids would be better spent um, on any other auction because the, you know they're, you got a better chance of winning something with those five bids and making money back than would you uh, waste them on a 25 bid voucher. So remember, we don't want to bid 25 bids um, on any 25 bid voucher. Um, and so in the straddle method, we want to straddle these two upper limits. We jump in at a dollar four. Um, statistical uh, theory tells us that the auction should close soon. You want to take a bid late strategy, try to bid last uh, few seconds of the auction, uh, and, and hopefully uh, others will give up at some point. They'll exhaust their bids. They will know not to bid more than 20 bids, hopefully not more than 20. Some may bid 25 or even more, but hopefully they'll exhaust their bids at this point. You end up uh, bidding into 25 bids or 20 bids to get 25 back. Hopefully it'll be before that. Um, it's uh, sometimes you may do better, sometimes you might not, not, might not win at all. Um, another, um, another interesting uh, reason why I believe this method is useful is uh, the way Quibids list their auctions. And um, if you look at the 25 bid vouchers, they sort of release them in little groups of uh, two to three at a time. And uh, if you also notice that Quibids, once an auction gets past a certain price or once the pre the other auctions start catching up to it and closing and you start having too many 25 bid vouchers in the last few seconds they will sort of um, take that off the voucher page although the auction is still live you can still win the auction it's not live on the site you can't like a user couldn't 
click on it and find that um, auction just by clicking around. They're not going to see that auction in the last few seconds. And, then, and we've observed this a few times. So at this point, um, whoever's in the auction, viewing the auction page, those are the only people who are going to be bidding. And knowing that those bidders are only going to use a certain number of bids to win a 25 bid voucher, um, we're going to try to play that against them. So uh, anyways, again, the entry point's $1.04. You want to uh, bid no more than 20 bids, and you want to bid late. You can also use the straddle method to straddle any of these other areas here. Any one of these, um, these lines between these little sections here represents 29 cents. Uh, and you can straddle any one of these areas here. So um, if you were to sort of use the straddle method on uh, earlier auctions, you might want to be uh, more aggressive in your bidding. And um, uh, if you do it towards the end of the auction, you might want to bid late. So anyways, that's the straddle method. Uh, please, you guys, come find us on Facebook. Uh, like us on Facebook for the latest updates, the latest stats. Uh, Quibid's report should be up soon. We're going to have the averages, the level one, the level two, for every auction on Quibids. Uh, it's for you guys, so you guys can uh, become better bidders. So I hope you find this video video useful, and uh, come check us out. Thanks.